What up, soy Kipto E, aquí en Mexicali, Mexico. And I'm here for a graffiti painting event with the homie Roots, he invited me out here. Big main event is over on the other part of town. I have today, Saturday and Sunday to paint this wall and the other wall in the main spot. So let's get cranking, boom. Yo, what up? I'm out here at the second wall location where there's this huge uh, wall for the big event. Uh, apparently yesterday there was some drama. There was some guy running his mouth at some other crew. It's in, I don't know, it's kind of, it was a bad scene apparently. What's well, a graffiti event without some, some bad blood drama, I guess. But uh, I didn't see any of it because I was over at the other spot painting my other wall. But we're hoping that nothing happens today and everything's cool and like all the beefs are squashed. But uh, let's just crank this part out here and uh, try and have a good time today in the hot sun. Try and stay cool. So let's do it. I've painted some horses in my time, but uh, not enough to have them completely memorized. And usually I kind of work off of some type of reference or a drawing or a couple of different photos of horses to get like a, a sense of what it looks like. But I dropped my phone and it's totally, like the screen doesn't work at all. So I'm kind of, uh, I'm out of a phone, but I do have my own sticker on my water bottle. So now I can kind of use this as my own little reference. It works out perfect. about these graph events is like everyone has all these sick stickers and they're handing them out to everybody and uh, I just got this like the event stickers Sun City and last night I was hanging out with you know a bunch of the guys and like I got all these stickers from everybody these are homemade this is RRE like look, look at all these sick stickers shock 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 one this is Salve just huge stickers of their pieces I'm gonna put the event sticker on my bottle right now and I brought some of my sticker packs too. Sick. That looks dope. Sun City, baby. I need some of this. Boom, baby. Let's paint some more. Here. The only reason my work is so colorful sometimes is because like the only like options I have in terms of painting and color palettes and cans like sometimes I'm just doing a random color because it's the only can I have that much of. I feel like I just have to make it work sometimes with the value structure and then the colors don't even really matter. But I think this is coming out okay. So yesterday the lot owner like this is we got permission from the city and the wall owner But like apparently we need permission from the lot owner too. This is a big lot yesterday. They uh, They cut the bolt to the fence so we could get in here. So he's kind of pissed about that And yesterday they kind of told him they cooled him down. They said yo like we can uh, like 
get the buff for you. If you don't like this work, like, we'll paint it over for you. He was like, all right, have the paint, you know, by the end of the day, so uh, you have proof. But apparently, uh, he came back and he called the cops on us. He still wasn't happy. I don't know what's gonna happen. They've been talking for a while. I'm trying to finish my piece before they shut us down. All right, looks like they figured something out. Let's uh, hope for the best. Keep painting. Trying to decide what to do with this hand here. If I want to have it like out like this, have it like fisted in like this. I have it out like this so it's kind of lead everything right off my own mural and I want I want to keep your attention so I might have it like this as a way to kind of capture the energy here and bring it back. So I think I'm gonna do this instead. to uh, run out of paint and time and energy but uh, we're gonna push through we're gonna make it we're gonna do it I'm gonna do this part over here finish it off strong do like a cool woman's face with like the hair coming through the rest of the piece over here kind of tying it all together give it the energy and flow that it needs and uh, yeah let's crank this bad boy out come on let's do it let's do it Really uh, digging how this is coming out. You got the storytelling in there that I wanted. Bang it out and then sign it. And then boom, we're done, baby. Finished. This is a pretty sick mural. I really like how it came out. Almost 100% freestyle. That was like the first time that I'd actually done like a full freestyle mural without any like pre sketches or references or anything of that sort. Just coming straight out of the dome, just painting, which was kind of cool. That happened because I, uh, I broke my phone and my phone doesn't work. Sometimes relied on my phone as like a crutch for murals, whether it be like looking at a sketch or like looking at some references of something I didn't know how to paint. This time it was almost like a blessing in disguise where I was able to just like go with the flow and like figure it out as I went along and just like trust my instincts and like trust the process and and just like have faith in myself to do a cool piece. And uh, under the hot Mexican sun, it was a little bit draining all day, but I ended up, you know, pushing it through and like making it to the end there and doing it all in one day. So I did pretty big pieces back to back days, one day each. And so that was cool to do like this weekend, having like two gnarly pieces here in uh, Mexicali. When we look at the mural, you kind of see like the story unfolding of like this guy. Last time when I was in Akumal, I painted that like Mayan character and it's like really fun to paint. So I kind of like tried to do another version of that. This woman over here on the left, she's gone missing or he's thinking about her or he's going to avenge her somehow. 
uh, with his noble steed over here. So, and it also like sets off this whole wall from the beginning and boom, and like this big impact and like kind of gives it this flow to, to show the rest of the wall here. Yeah, pretty cool. And uh, unfortunately there was some, some drama and some beefs going on during this event, but we managed to make it happen. And uh, hopefully the lot owner doesn't buff this whole thing because he doesn't like it. So uh, I also noticed like just the, the night and day difference between mural fests and graffiti fests. But I just just something that I noticed. They both have their merits and like they're both like you know passionate people doing what they love, but just in a totally different kind of way. And to be accepted into both of those worlds uh, is something that I uh, don't take for granted. Uh, thanks again Roots for inviting me out to the jam. Big up to Mexicali, Chicali. Boom.